All right guys, today I've got a new ROM I want to show you guys for the Verizon Galaxy S4. Um, and the reason I started with this video with the thing, the device off is because I really want to show you the boot animation. Just because it's different, I haven't seen this one before and I like it. And what we're going to do is we'll show you how to install this ROM. So let me go ahead and power this thing up. There we go, should be powering up. And you see I have that custom uh, unlock little thing on there because to install this ROM, you obviously have to have safe strap installed and all that. And I'll go over prerequisites for it, for it as as we go here. Um, obviously, safe strap um, and it is enabled because I've already got this ROM installed. So what I'm going to do in this video is go ahead and walk you through the ROM, showing you what the features are, some of the coolness of it, and um, and then we'll go ahead and show you guys how to install the ROM. So this ROM is called sorry loud boot animation there. So pretty cool, I like this boot animation, it's just different, um, haven't seen this one before myself, so it's kind of sweet, it's pretty cool little boot animation. But this ROM is called uh, Duxter ROM, it's like Dexter but with a U. So Duxter ROM V23, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you guys what's what's on here. There is a ton of features on it, so here you go, this is your basic lock screen, you got that hover effect when you hover over the lock screen, which is uh, kind of cool, you can see it and swipe across to unlock it and this thing's very much themed and that's probably the reason I really like this ROM um, is just all the theming in it is just really 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 cool so you can see your icons are all themed even phone just looks like a phone contacts look like contacts I mean that's the whole point of this uh, ROM really is to give you really unique um, icons and, and just a totally different look so let's go into the app drawer you can see browser calculator looks like a ca camera looks like a digital camera I mean everything was got that like real look to it um, which just makes it really neat looking. There are some also some cool things that are included. Um, Dropbox is already in here. Dynamic notifications is in there. If you haven't seen that before, that's pretty cool. ES file browser, I think that was actually, no, I think that's actually in there when I got it too. Event flow settings is, is unique. Um, Greenify is already in there. Let's see what else we got here. Phone, that's all the same. All the S, you know, S translate, all that kind of stuff's in there as well. Um, Samsung wallet right there. Super user for, or super su for root access. Torch, standard torch. Trickster mods. Um, this allows you to do all of your overclocking, governor, CPU, stuff like that. If you go into tools, you can, um, actually we can, we can scroll through some of these. So right here you can change the CPU frequency on this device. Min max, set governor, controls, advanced controls. I mean, there's min free stuff. I mean, this Trickster mod goes on and on. Actually, I've been meaning to do a uh, review video of Trickster mod. I haven't done that yet. Maybe I'll do that if I get a chance here. Um, so, Trickster mod does all kinds of cool goodies in there. For sure, that's pretty awesome. Right here, you have um, WANAM exposed module right there, which is very, very sweet. Z player. Antunu, I can't remember how to say it, pronounce that. Benchmark, if you want to run your benchmark. Um, even your watch on application right there, it looks just very, very cool. Um, pretty, pretty neat looking thing. Now this wallpaper I put in there just because I thought it was one of the wallpapers you can download with it, and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, online Android, go ahead and grant it. You can even see like even the pop-ups, look, see how they got the, like, that blue tint to them? Is, uh, is very, very cool. Um, please select your default settings, so you can set this all up and do backups through it, I guess. Not use this myself, so um, definitely a feature, definitely fun. I'd like to go through it and, and uh, definitely check it out. It looks, looks like it'd be interesting. Don't save for right now. So some cool things you can do right there. Speed test right there. Final switch. Not sure what this is. Hmm, interesting. Some kind of toggle system you can uh, use. Uh, it's just this thing's loaded. It's got all kinds of cool stuff. System uninstaller if you want to install system applications um, easily right there and everything else. Let's see what we got here in uh, widgets. Looks like there's quite a few pages of them. And they're all pretty standard looking widgets so far. There's that hibernate mode for uh, Greenify. If you haven't seen Greenify, I do a video on that which is very cool. Nice little application. 
Um, pretty pretty standard through here, Not, nothing too, too exciting. You can see this is themed right up here for the clock. And then let me go ahead and show you some of the other, I guess, really, really cool theming that I saw in here. And, and it's really these notifications up here. You can already see that you have the eye. So that's like the Samsung thing where it views you and makes sure what sees what you're doing. Wi-Fi. I have this thing that says I have no SIM because it's not in there. It does function, but it's not in there. There's battery, and I would theme battery with WAM, with WAN-AM. Exposed module is what I would do. So let's scroll down here, and you can see this is what makes it really cool. I love all the theming here. Um, all these different icons actually look really, really cool. Just instead of that boring, you know, Samsung look, it's really nice. Dexter right there, on, or Duxter, I should say, ROM right there. And settings. Actually, let's not go into settings yet. Let's go back in here. You can see all the toggles right there. So there they all are. Um, very cool. I, I like, I like, I really like the look of these things. And then you can obviously edit them and rearrange your toggles. And let's go now. We'll go into settings. You can see these little toggles look like little buttons. Very much um, LG looking, actually. LG has that same kind of look. But even just all the icons. I mean, everything just just is really cool looking. I really, I really like the the theme, like the like you would say of this. Um, I guess the last thing I'd want to show you guys is what build this is. So there's Duxter Round again, Hacker Round Team. Um, very, very cool. We'll go down here, and you can see right here it's on Android 4.3, which is Jelly Bean. And it's also on right here MK2, which is the newest uh, Galaxy S4 Verizon build. So um, very, very slick. So a couple things I want to show you guys in settings that I think are very, very important are, um, well, you can see this is all standard looking stuff. But if you go into device, um, I guess this is going to be where your magic happens really on this device. So you can see some settings through here. Safe, uh, safety assistant, a couple things, blah, blah, blah. Basically standard stuff. But right here, this is where it's at right here. Duxter controls. And um, I'm actually running some of the stuff, so let me actually get to where it's at. Oh, yeah, that's it. So um, you can see there's some different uh, sound settings, um, device controls. And you can have all this stuff, busy box, pie controls, system information, ink effects, app ops ad free um, ROM downloads OTAs not sure if those work because of the port probably don't but what you really want to get into is right here under tools extra and this is all of your basic exposed framework and all those extras this is like the shortcuts to get to all that stuff um, so you see system DPI trickster mod you can get to again here battery calibration exposed um, installer so if you want um, WAM, WAM or Greenify or Gravity Box or any of those kind of exposed things to work you gotta come in here and go to framework and then hit install and update and get those things functioning so once you do that then you can come into modules check any of the modules you want to use it's also got multi window manager I didn't check it. You gotta check that little box on the side. There you go. And then you'll have to reboot once they're all checked, and you'll get them all working. And now you can use all the cool tweaks in those um, applications. And there are an insane ton of them. If you want to get rid of that green battery, which to me just doesn't match the theme, you can do it through here. You can just theme out everything, which is really really cool. Um, and then they, right there, you got those dynamic notifications, which is really cool. Turn that on and check out how your notifications show up on this device also. So I just wanted to go over those quick things. I thought that was uh, really slick. That's where the magic happens on this ROM right here. Definitely, definitely digging this. There are some other wallpapers if you guys want to check those out. This is, like I said, it's just one that I picked. So if you go into wallpapers, home screen, wallpapers, here they are. And you can see these are other wallpapers that comes with the ROM. Here, we'll actually do this one. This one looks really cool. There we go. So uh, very slick, definitely digging the wallpapers and the look of this thing a lot. All right, so we've gone through the ROM pretty well. Uh, very, very neat. Let's go ahead and go into the install of this ROM. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and, I mean, I, well, this gives you a chance here. You can see the power menu too, has all these features. We're just gonna do a restart because um, we're gonna try to get into recovery. Now, before you get into recovery, obviously the prerequisites for this thing are you're gonna have to have root access is number one. You're going to have to have safe strap installed as number two. Um, and then you're going to have to have number three, the ROM downloaded to your device. 
Um, I downloaded the full version from XDA, and I'll give you guys direct links to that stuff, so you should have it. Um, so we're just going to do a reboot, and you have uh, booting off animation as well, as you guys can see right here. And we'll reboot, and then we'll just enter into Safe Strap to get this thing installed. Alright, here's Safe Strap, so go ahead and hit the recovery button right there. And we should boot into Safe Strap. Now, just a pre little pre preemptive, I guess you could say, a little point here. If you do not have Safe Strap, if you do not know what I'm talking about here, if you don't have a root access, you don't have any of that stuff, but you like this ROM, um, watch my other videos. I got a ton of videos on the Galaxy S4. Watch my other Safe Strap videos, my root videos, and you guys, it'll get you up to speed so you guys know what I'm talking about here, and you'll be able to uh, meet those prerequisites. So that being said, um, let's go ahead and we'll go into, if you're on stock system, you know, it would probably would look like this. Your, your system would look like this. It'd be, you have these reds and all that kind of stuff, but you want to install a ROM. So you go to boot options. I've already created a ROM slot, and like I said, I have other videos if you don't know how to do that. Um, and I've created it right here, and I've actually named it Ducks ROM. So I'm going to activate my ROM slot. And now everything is in white and the red is gone. We're activated on slot one. And if you're going to install something on slot one, ROM, slot one, like this Dex ROM, if you already have something there or whatever, you're going to need to go ahead and do a wipe. And swipe across. This is going to wipe the ROM out. And give you a clean slate to install. So then you go to installs. And you find where your ROM was downloaded. Mine's in downloads. Downloads on my external card. And right here is the name of the ROM. So you just select it, make sure it's listed right there, and go ahead and swipe across to flash the ROM. Pretty, pretty simple. There is a, a little step we're going to have to do here at the end, but let's let this ROM flash and I'll show you that last step. Okay, so our ROM has successfully uh, flashed, so we're just going to hit back. And now, this is really important that you guys understand this. So my stock system is on MK2 is our build number, last three of, of our build number on the stock system which was that system that was in red. And you'll understand it if you've run Safe Strap at all, you'll understand that. So that's your stock system, build number MK2. So anytime you flash a Safe Strap ROM, you have to flash the modules of your build that your stock system's on. Not what the ROM's on, but what the stock system's on. So since my stock system was on MK2, which is the newest build for this device right now, um, I went ahead and I'm gonna flash these MK2 modules. I have a link to all the modules so I will give you a link to that in the video description along with everything else you're going to need. But my modules are MK2, so I'm going to take those and select them and swipe across and flash them. Boom, flashed. Very, very simple. That makes sure if you don't flash these modules, your um, Wi-Fi and your cell service and things like that may not function correctly. So it's very important that you do this step. So when you're done, just go ahead and hit Reboot System, and everything's going to boot up. So first boot on this thing, you always want to give a boot after a ROM flash up to 10 minutes if it will not boot in 10 minutes then you need to figure out what you did wrong maybe you have a bad download who knows what it is but very important that you give it 10 minutes for the first boot up after that I mean you'll probably boot within a couple minutes you saw how mine booted the first time I showed you in the beginning of the video it's very pretty quick so that being said um, I just want to give a big uh, shout out to the guy who ported this over uh, which his name is great googly moogly I absolutely love that that's freaking hilarious so um, very cool very very cool also obviously give props to the guys that uh, created the ROM Duxter ROM which I think it, I mentioned earlier in the video um, big thanks to everybody who's involved in it really because this ROM is really cool love the theme on it very very awesome so pretty much it guys that's gonna be Duxter ROM on the Galaxy S4 Verizon with safe strap MK2 build all that goodies and uh, pretty much it. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more on this device. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Great googly moogly. She boots. Yeah. Time to set this thing up.